不是我选出来做。Okay, I have special appreciation for Jewish and joyful. Give me this opportunity. Try to express my own Jewishness and my own joyfulness. Let's try to figure this out. We're born Jewish, right? But we have a choice whether we want to be joyful or not. Wrong. It's really the only way to live your life. So why is it that so many people are like walking around all upset, all tough, and people are under so much pressure today, like you can't imagine? And I think you know what it is. Here, let me share this story with you. I'm on a plane, okay, two summers ago. I'm on a flight and I go onto the plane, I sit down, and, and there's a woman, a middle-aged woman. She doesn't seem Orthodox Jewish, and she's like staring at me. I was like a little bit uncomfortable. She's staring at me, and at one point I said, "Ma'am, can I help you with anything?" And she she says to me, "Yes, you can. You can put on your mask." I said, "Well, okay." I said, "I, I hate to disappoint you." If you may have noticed, I am wearing a mask. Maybe you should get a prescription or your glasses changed. Maybe she's wearing her reading glasses. I don't know. I said, "Man, I'm wearing a mask." She said, "It's not high enough. How high would you like it to be? It's supposed to cover your nose." I don't want to get into this discussion with her as to where my nose is. But as far as I was concerned, it was covering my nose. I said, "Okay, you know, if it makes you any happier, I'll pull the mask up over my eyes." And she said. You people! Oh, oh, here we go again. It's nice to be a representative of my people. <laughs> and basically, she's going on and on with all the world's problems. Okay, Trump is problem of Orthodox Hasidim. Biden is a problem of Orthodox Hasidim.、Um, she's going on and on and all all the ills of the world, everything that went wrong from the civil war in this country. She's just going on and on and on, and she's not stopping and she's screaming. And the stewardess comes up and says, "What? Everything okay?" What did you say to her? I said I didn't say anything to her, and I I stepped aside and、I、just she just kept on screaming and I was thinking something. There was a story last time. I'm not saying I was on this flight, but there was a story of a plane where the two pilots actually fell asleep. Now pilots、um, always fall asleep, but they're supposed to like sleep the way you sleep during a class. You know, one eye open, one eye closed. These two guys were totally out of it, and they're calling in, they're calling in, and and. You know what it means after you eat the chal chal this afternoon? You're like totally out of it. These guys were out of it, totally. And at one point, they're, they're radioing in and they're not answering. So it got to the point where they were even going to dispatch、uh, F-15 fighter planes to go up and see. Maybe this is God forbid another 9/11. Who knows what's happening? And the last minute, the pilots like woke up and said, "No, no, no, everything okay, everything is fine." And there was a whole, you know, tumult. How could this be? How could it happen? And whatever, they made a U-turn around the North Pole and came back to where they were supposed to. And I was just thinking to myself, I'm not saying we were on that plane. Okay, but then again, we don't know. For all you know, the pilots are sleeping. Planes fly in autopilot. But imagine you would have gone over to this lady, and you would have sat there while she's screaming. Because of you, we're all gonna die. I'm telling you, you're spreading disease. You're spreading this. You don't care. And I read all the newspapers, and I know exactly what's going on with you. And then, and then, somebody would go over to her and say, "No, I'm gonna die. This mask is not high enough." I want to tell you something, lady. What? The two pilots? Yes. On this plane that's thirty thousand feet over the Atlantic? Yes. Are sleeping now?、The, what? Think she'll stop worrying about my mask? And I was thinking, that's who we are. We worry, we worry, we worry. And God says, I'm holding up the plane. That's what you're worried about, says the great writer of Tzaddik Akayan. Ninety percent of our problems aren't real problems. They're just to get us to think. I'm worried about this, but this isn't really my real problem. This is just to get me to think. There, there's a rubbish lamp that's holding me up. You know what? Why don't I just relinquish control and put myself into His hands? And all of a sudden, life will begin to change very quickly. Our Ayla Mishnah Bura is an incredible project that is changing the world. They have a clear and incredible explanation and elucidation of the Shulchan Aruch Mishnah Bura. Please visit our website arhayfinaylam.org, or you could get one at your local bookstore. And to receive Torah thoughts, stories, and inspiration on the weekly parsha, please email parshanalajajum.com, or you could visit parshanalajajum.com. <laughs>